All right, today we're just gonna go over what I do when I hangboard train. So we're gonna get right into it. First, I like to warm up on the jugs. And I'll do this, obviously, I'm just running through these to keep the video short. But I'll do these a few minutes and I'll take a break. And then I'll move on to some other stuff. I like to get onto the crimps and do some open hand and hang until I I can't hold on any longer. So I started climbing a year and a half ago and right before this whole pandemic happened I bought this hangboard and it's really helped me not lose what I was gaining when I was being able to climb at the gym three, three or four days a week. Because what I lost in endurance, I gained in strength and, and finger strength. And when I came back to the gym recently, I was able to do my first couple of V5s, and I actually sent a V6. Now make sure you control yourself and engage your shoulders and your core. You really want to try to avoid injury here. And I don't recommend doing this if you're a beginner climber. I know I'm a beginner climber, but I'm just dumb. <laughs> I like to end with some pull-ups. That's about it. That's what I like to do, and it's worked for me. So let me know what I did wrong or if you learned anything. Here's a close-up of my hangboard and all the holds it has. And make sure you chalk up. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks for watching.